What up guys, Eric here from Race Ram Fam, and today we're going to be taking out all 10 of the spark plugs in my 2004 Dodge Ram SRT10. All right guys, I hope you like that little bit of footage of me having the GoPro on my head and how to do it. Uh, one big thing that helps everyone out a ton is to get one of these flex head ratchets and then to get one of these spark plug sockets right here, these swivel extension spark plug sockets. I, uh, this is a Craftsman one and that's a Pittsburgh uh, flex head ratchet. Those two things in combo, they make the job go by so much easier. It took me about 10 minutes to get all 10 of those spark plugs out. On your 2004 Dodge Ram SRT10, that's all stock. It might be a little bit, a little bit different because you have a battery right there, but you also don't have a giant turbo over there. But we got all 10 out, they're laid out right here. And what we are looking for is actually the burn and color on these guys, and they all look great. They all have this brown, toasty shade to them and a little bit black on the outside, but I don't see any of them different at all. I don't see any pre-detonation. I don't see any lean issues. I don't see too much fueling issues. So we are gonna put these guys back in. Actually, I'm gonna check the gap on all of them real quick and put them back in. I think I'm running like a 27 thousandths gap just because it is boosted. Again, if you guys are naturally aspirated, I believe it's like 43 thousandths gap from factory. That's what you wanna run on them. Uh, double check that. I'll actually probably write a thing in front of me, whatever. It's gap you want to run factory um, also from factory you guys want to run those champion copper spark plugs you don't want to run these NGK iridium spark plugs just because the motors like those copper ones in factory form better but we are gonna get these guys installed I'm just happy the turbo SRT 10 is looking good oils good spark plugs look good so I am ready for a drag racing season which will be coming up in about two week ends here not this next weekend the weekend after that i'm going up to brainerd minnesota to go drag racing all weekend at their uh i think it's muscle car shootout so time slips coming soon guys time slips coming soon to see what this turbo srt 10 runs 
I'm pumped. I'm driving the truck up there and bringing my camper behind it. I'm pulling a trailer, so we are putting a trailer hitch on this truck. So, <laughs> I know it's a race truck and everything, but it does have the trailer hitch there, which is chilling right here. We are gonna put that in so we can haul my camper up there. We have to hook up a battery disconnect, and we are ready to go drag race and put some 390s on the back and just, what? Just, bah, 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 bah. Hopefully run some good times. Uh, Two years ago when I was drag racing, all stock, we were running about 12 nines. That was my personal best. Hopefully this year it's a lot better because now we have a turbo and a lot more power and hopefully a lot better traction mods. So we'll see. First time taking the truck out though, so there's going to be some issues I feel like and there's going to be problems with me shifting. I, it's not going to be a clean pass first round. I highly doubt that, but it's going to be a good time. So guys, I hope this video helped you guys figure out how to do a tune-up. A little bit easier on one of these SRT 10s if you guys need to know how to take the intake manifold off to do plug wires I'll post the link below I already made a video on how to take the intake manifold off and do all that so that'll be in the description below the link will be right down here so check that out as always keep it boosted and we'll see you guys in the next video